Hey guys, and welcome back! Oh my gosh, it feels so good to sit down and film. I have been so incredibly sick this past week. It has been torture! My voice has just been completely gone and there has been so much phlegm <laughs> that nobody wants to hear that, so I haven't been able to record. But it feels so good to sit back down now. Hopefully I don't sound too uh, froggy for you guys. This is definitely the best my voice has been in uh, several days now. <laughs> <laughs> but I am bringing to you guys the brand new Jeffree Star mystery boxes for Valentine's Day. I ended up getting two of them. I got the premium and the deluxe. I always forget the names, but I think those were it. And the very bottom tier was supposed to be the supreme box. Supreme box. I can apparently not talk as per usual, but there was three levels. I tried to get them all for you guys to do an unboxing, but by the time I was checking out, the supreme box had already sold out. It was already processing in the cart. I had everything in there, and then by the time I made it to payment, it said, whoops, one item is already sold out. And I was like, Ah, that is one thing that I really dislike about the Jeffree Star mystery boxes is the checkout is insane. I mean, it's been consistent now that every single time, anytime something has launched, you have to wait in that queue and just watch that like spindle for, I think I watched it for like five minutes, maybe a little bit more. And it was insane. I was driving to school at the time that it was launching and I actually had to call my dad up and be like, Dad, it's not working on my phone. I need you to check out for me right now. And he's in the middle of a meeting. I could hear the people in the background. He's on like video chat and he's like, all right, where do I go? <laughs> Hang on guys, my daughter needs me. <laughs> and I'm like, you rock. <laughs> So yeah, <clears throat> a little bit of an intense situation there during checkout. <laughs> but yeah, so I got the deluxe and the premium for you guys. They were slightly different prices this time around. Let me double check, make sure I got the right prices here. Usually the uh, smaller one is about 40 bucks, but this time it was $60 for the premium. Hold on, double checking. Yep, so $60 for the premium. It was supposed to have four items, contains three exclusive. The deluxe, bottom one right here, was $100. It contains eight items. One of them is definitely gonna be a merchandise item because this is the one that had a size. The other two did not. And that one was also supposed to have three exclusive of those eight. And then the Supreme that, that I did not get was $145 and it was supposed to contain 12 items, five exclusive. Kind of bummed I didn't get the Supreme, but that's okay. Next time I will definitely try to get that for you guys so that way I can show you guys all three variations. But I think we're gonna have fun just unboxing these two today. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start unboxing these. Why am I talking so much? My gosh, let's, let's break into this. Where's my baby scissors? I couldn't find my usual baby scissors, but I found regular smallish scissors. <laughs> Those will work. I'm very excited to see what is inside. So I'm gonna start with the uh, premium, the smaller version, and we'll work our way to the biggest. Oh my goodness, every time I always open it the wrong way <laughs> and I'm struggling. Oh, okay, I already see something right on top here. Let's take a take a little look-see here at the first item standing out to me. Oh, I see some wrapping here. I see a little, a little alien wrapping. Okay, we're, we're gonna work our way to that one. I'm gonna grab the item that was right up top here. It is a beanie, very bright red. Oh, that's cute. It has the little hearts right over here. I'd seen that some of the sweaters he was launching had the same design with the candied hearts on it. So that's kind of cute that it has the same design here on the beanie. I'm not really much of a beanie wearer, to be quite honest. You know, I, I feel like some people could pull off the beanie look and I don't know if I'm one of those people. Let me see if I can style it. I don't know, did I need to pull it down more? I don't know, I feel like I just look a little weird in a beanie. <laughs> some people have it, some people don't. So that's item number one here. We got three more to go because this one was supposed to have four. I know you guys really want to see that, what that alien was. I do too. Let's move aside the other stuff and let's go for this guy right here. Like. I knew it the moment I 
saw that alien print. I actually do not have this palette, so this is really exciting. I only have the blue blood, the blood sugar, and the thirsty. Being in a little bit of a collection here. Cute. And then you fold her up like this. Wow, that is really cool that the alien palette was inside the smaller box. I'm gonna do some quick swatches for you guys because I have not seen this one for myself before. I've seen the reveal video of this one, but I never actually picked it up. So I'm very curious as to the colors. Ooh, bright green. I always end up starting up too high, so I had to go all the way down onto my hand, but here's the entire palette so washed out. That is definitely a very fun looking palette. I think you could do some interesting stuff with it. And I still have two more items inside of the box. I just really <laughs> wanted to unbox that. I mean, we saw the alien packaging there. It would have it would have been silly if I had left that for last. So let's go on to the other two items after I show you guys how cute the alien looks with a beanie <laughs> that we got. All right, let's move on to the third item inside the box here for the premium. So the third item is gonna be the pop sockets. So we're back to the pop sockets now. If you guys have seen any of my other Jeffree Star mystery unboxings, I have almost gotten, I think, all of them. I've missed out on maybe like one or two. I think I missed out on two. But I've gotten quite a few now and Every box except from the last holiday box has had pop sockets. The holiday box this year had stickers and there was a whole debacle about that. So I think Jeffrey switched back to pop sockets <laughs> because of everything that happened with that. I don't know, in my opinion, I've always felt like the pop sockets are a little bit of a throw-in item that I felt like should have been an extra instead of being a whole item itself because there's supposed to be four items inside of this box and uh, this is one of the four and this is supposed to be one of the exclusive items. But of course, that's just my personal opinion on the pop socket. Some people love them, some people hate them, you know, to each their own. But let's move on now to our fourth item, which is actually our last item. And this one is actually a makeup exclusive. So Jeffrey was saying that there's gonna be a makeup exclusive in every single tier of the box. And this is the one for the premium. We got the Glouse in the shade Succulent. So let's take a look at what Succulent looks like. Ooh, wow, that is pink inside. Look at that. It looks glittery too. Need to do a swatch. Oh wow, yeah, that is glittery. And not at all what I was expecting. So the tube, it looks pink and like it's gonna be gold, but when you swatch it, I just gotta double check. Yeah, when you swatch it, the gloss is actually with blue and purple micro glitters with a pink gloss that it sits inside of. Completely catches me off guard because I was expecting it to be <laughs> pink and gold. Let's try it on. Wow, that is sparkly. <laughs> oh my goodness. I kind of want to try taming it down a little bit because I think for me on its own, it's just a little bit too sparkly. So let's pop a little bit of a noodle lip on. Putting on my Jeffree Star can't relate. Sticking with the theme and then let's try putting this just in the center. Oh, that is really intense. Okay, dabbing it out works a little bit better. It's not as in your face. Personal preference when it comes to glosses, I'm usually one who likes a little bit more of a subtle gloss that is definitely very in your face. So I don't know exactly how much I would personally use this if I didn't just dab it on for a little bit of sparkle, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, but that was the last item for the premium box. We ended up getting four items, the alien, the gloss, the pop socket and the beanie. And I can only really find values for the palette and the gloss, which together would be 70 bucks. I paid 60 bucks for the box and depending on how much the value for these two guys are, you know, I mean, we're definitely sitting over what we paid. Is it my absolute favorite box? Nah, I don't know. I'm. I, I've 
told you guys before, I'm not really the biggest fan of pop sockets. I'm personally not much of a beanie wearer, so for me, this box, the only really exciting item was the Alien palette. The gloss is a little bit too sparkly for me. So although I'm really excited about the Alien palette, I'm kind of looking at this box being like, oh, like 60 bucks plus the shipping. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and keep this unboxing going. I'm gonna go over now to the deluxe box. This one was again $100. It's supposed to have eight items inside of it. Three exclusive, and one is for sure gonna be a merch size item since you had to select a size for this box. So let's find out what's in this one. Oh, <laughs> looks like we got another hat in this one. Let's start with that one. All right, so item number one here. Hats were definitely a theme this time around. So we got the dad cap here in the baby pink. Hats are actually on Jeffree Star's website, so I can kind of uh, guess this price here for $25, because there is other dad caps on there in just different colors. They're all the same price point though, so I'm guessing that this cap is 25 bucks. And I personally enjoy baseball caps more than I enjoy the beanies. You know, just personal preference. I do wear baseball caps quite a bit, so I could actually get some good use out of that. All right, item number two, I'm seeing another merch item. I think this is now a shirt. Oh yeah, this is definitely a shirt. <laughs> Let me stand up so you guys can see this one. So here's the front of it. It's got the Candied Heart logo here on the front. And then when you switch it to the back here, you got the Candied Hearts with all the different sayings. I did see that there was supposed to be a sweater in this as well. I kind of was hoping that it was gonna be the sweater. It's all right though. I'm gonna be very much <laughs> Jeffree Star swagged out here though with my hat and my shirt. I see that the t-shirts are actually all of the same price point as well, no matter really what the pattern is. And they are also of $25. So we'll kind of use that as a base when we're adding up all of the value. Okay, but now we're moving on to item number three, which looks like we're rolling into some makeup here. First up, we got another The Gloss. This one is in the shade Legends Only. Oh, this is actually like a nude gloss with no sparkles in it. This may be even too nude for me. <laughs> Look at that, you can barely see that on me. Is it supposed to have a tint? Am I just masking it with my very pale skin? I've already wiped away the previous gloss. So let's plop this one right on. Oh, it's scented. It smells kind of vanilla-y to me. On my lips, it's a little bit easier to tell that it is supposed to have a very light tint to it, but it does sheer out quite a bit when you're applying it to the lips. But yeah, there's the gloss on. It's definitely more sheared out. It doesn't really have an opaque color. They're definitely meant to be more of a topper gloss, I think, just to add a little bit of a juicy look with a hint of a tint. Let's continue with the unboxing now. We got one more lip item. Oh, this is gonna be the mystery item. You can see the little mystery right up top there. This is a liquid lip. Oh, wow looks like it's gonna be a metallic, I think. Let's find out. Oh yeah, definitely a metallic lip. It's like a uh, fuchsia color. There's no sparkles in it, but it's just got that metallic sheen to it. So let's go ahead and try this one on. And I'm not the biggest metallic lip wearer, but this is not an overly metallic look, which I kind of like. It's definitely an interesting color. And as far as price goes, the liquid lips do all have the same price of $18. On to item number five now. Let's keep this going. I think I know what this one is. Oh yeah, it is. So this is the mini jawbreaker palette. Again, another palette I do not own, which is really fun. So here's what the mini jawbreaker looks like. There are five matte shades inside of there with four shimmer slash metallics. 
I can really appreciate that it definitely seems like there is some strategy with each mystery box. They're not releasing every single palette into the mystery box and it's a huge gamble of which palette you're actually gonna get and you're always gonna get repeating ones or who knows what you're getting. It usually seems like there is a set couple that they rotate between for the mystery boxes and each time they switch that up. So at least if you are perhaps buying a mystery box every time, you're not getting repeating palettes. Like I have not gotten a repeating palette, which is kind of crazy considering how many mystery boxes I have actually purchased from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I really appreciate the strategy with what they're putting inside of it. Oh, and before I forget, the mini Jawbreaker palette has a value of 28 bucks. Let's roll on to item number six now. We got something here in gold. I have no clue what that would be. Any guesses? Any guesses? What are we thinking? I did not think about this one. So this is the 24 karat highlighter palette. This one is $40. Oh, look at that front packaging. I like the filigree. And then, dun da da da, here are the highlighter shades inside of here. Part of me really wants to swatch this just so you guys could see it, but I think I'm actually gonna leave this untouched because they are a little bit of deeper shades and I know that I would probably only end up reaching for the one over here, Sarcophagus and Legendary. The other four shades in the palette are definitely way too dark for me. Yes, I could use them as all over the lid eyeshadow colors, but these are very large to use for just individual single shadows. So I think what I'm gonna do is leave this untouched, put that little cover right back on it and save this for a future giveaway. All right, and then item number seven here, what looks like some reusable straws. Can't go too wrong with reusable straws. It's definitely a more practical item out of the lot. Let's go on now to our last item, which this looks very interesting to me. It's a big box here at the bottom. This is a mirror. I actually don't have a handheld mirror from Jeffree. How cute. So I actually got the classic Jeffree Star handheld mirror in the baby pink. I've always wanted one of the handheld mirrors from Jeffree, but I just never got around to purchasing one. So this is really exciting that I actually got one. I've been waiting to get one inside of a mystery box. I'm just like, I know that they're gonna have one eventually. I want it, I need it. So this is really cute. But that was actually our last item for the deluxe box. So let's see here, we got the mirror, we got some straws. We got the highlighter palette that I'm gonna save for a giveaway. Mini Jawbreaker, whoops, I wasn't even in camera. I got a liquid lip and a gloss, a hat, and a t-shirt. So these are all the items that came inside of the deluxe mystery box. And I was actually able to find prices of most of the items or relatable items that are just different colors, but all seem to have the same price. So based on that, the value that I can get for this box is $191. That's honestly not too bad. It's almost double the value of what you paid for the box, which I have to say between the premium and the deluxe, I personally think I like the deluxe a little bit more. I'm missing two items from here, whoops. I just think there's items inside of here that I would use a little bit more than the other one. And you do get four extra items and we actually didn't get a pop socket inside of this box this time. I just realized, and that's really exciting because usually, well, usually in the past, every single box had a pop socket inside of it. If they traded out the pop socket for the reusable straws, I will take it. <laughs> So I definitely think for me that that box was a little bit more worth it this time than the smaller variation. Of course, I know there is quite a jump in the price point. That one was 100 bucks, the other one was 60 bucks, but I just feel like the deluxe is just a little bit more worth it in my opinion. You spend 40 extra bucks and you get four extra items and one of them's not a pop socket. But yeah, that is of course just my personal opinion on these two mystery boxes. I really hope that you enjoyed me unboxing them for you guys today. If you 
you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.